Hey, what's up, agents? All right, so today what I'm bringing to you is a resistance farm. Uh, I'm doing it with one other person, which I think duo farming resistance is probably the uh, most efficient when it comes into time investment and everything like that. Um, the reason for that being is me and my buddy are going to get two chest openings uh, during wave eight here. Um, which I think is probably, it's better than doing it solo, because uh, you got to think if you can trade with somebody, bring a friend along, you're getting the two chest openings, you get two drops, they get two drops, and you can share stuff between each other um, and finish up those classified sets that uh, everybody's trying to get to uh, since the global event has ended. Uh, things to keep in mind, there are, I mean, this isn't really that much different than any of the other uh, resistance farms that you've probably seen, but there's a couple small intricacies, uh, I think, that comes with doing it duo that's important to keep in mind uh, when doing this, um, especially when it comes to uh, getting the amount of shade tech you need um, on wave eight. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the gameplay here a little bit so we can get to where we're going. We're just doing a uh, wave four right here. Um, we're going to try and kill as much shit as possible. Pretty standard when it comes to any of the other farms that you've seen. Uh, it's really not anything special. Just kill as much shit as possible. Uh, I don't have the gameplay for waves one and three. I didn't feel like that was necessary just because those waves are static. They're not going to have any real significant changes. There's a set amount of enemies, so just wipe those out and get those done. Alright, so here we are. Boss Wave is about to start. Uh, most people like to farm back there behind that uh, that little concrete barrier, uh, which is okay to do. The only issue that you're going to run into is since you're kind of sitting in one location, you're not going to be able to uh, kill enough mobs as fast as, uh, as you could by just running around. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're running really high sustain builds. Um, I'm running a five-piece Nomads, and then on this AK that I'm using right now, uh, I have Predatory, uh, Self-Sustained, and uh, I believe uh, Destructive to help me kind of rip through the armor there a little bit faster. Uh, my partner is running a four-piece defense set with a two-piece Lone Star, so he doesn't have to burn through his SMG ammo as fast. And I think he's using a house with uh, Self-Sustained, and I'm not sure what else, but... Uh, you know, he's fairly tanky and can keep himself alive, which is really important. So we're going to be going through this boss wave pretty uh, aggressive, I guess would be the best way to put it. Typical, you're going to get the boss low. I don't, if you saw him back there, he was shields ripped. Um, we'll come back to him later uh, in the wave when it's, it's time to kill him. So we're going to go ahead and skip through this a little bit. Uh, just killing shit, killing more shit and killing all the shit so we're down here to about 30 seconds and i go ahead and communicate to my partner i'm like hey i'm at the boss you go ahead and keep killing um and what i'm going to do is I'm gonna wait till about the 10 second mark before i finish off lightning here all right now that lightning's out of the way we've got two enemies left we're going to kind of kite these guys around while we get the uh all the different doors open and everything so pretty standard, leave one enemy up, um, you know, while you get all that shit done. So go ahead and skip through this. Alright, so here we are, back at uh, wave 6 is about to start. We're going to opening the chest, I believe, for the first time. Uh, if we have enough, there we go. As you can see, I get shit, just a reclaimer uh, mask, which I don't really want. I'm chasing a striker set. Hopefully I'll get it soon, and hopefully get what you're looking for. Um, on my Hungry Hog that I have here, I have Meticulous, which is really nice. It helps me not have to burn through my ammo as fast. It's really important that you keep as much ammo as possible um, for your uh, main weapon that you're going to be doing most of the kills with. When it comes to like these uh, waves 1 through 3 and uh, 6 and 7, I use this Hungry Hog. Because I'm, I'm not really worried about getting the wave done as fast. And I don't need the sustain from Predatory and uh, Self-Sustained uh, when doing these. Because it's just not that intensive. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that when you're leaving the boss wave, you're looking for 10,500 
uh, shade tech between the two of you. That'll get you enough to open the docks, the door, the door into the chest room, and it should give you your first chest opening. Um, you can see here when we end wave six, when we dump the uh, points in, you go. So we got 1750. We're going to go ahead and finish out wave seven. By the end of wave seven, uh, let's see how much we have here. Okay, so I put in mine. My buddy Kilo Trigger over here, he's going to put in his. And I think that brings us to a total of about 4K. Okay, so 2K farming into wave eight uh, is very doable. Um, I think the lowest we've farmed up from is 2,700. Um, 2,700 is really rough because you really have to kill a lot of the enemies in here. Um, you want to make sure that both you and your partner are capable of keeping yourselves alive. You're not really going to be doing any healing to each other or anything like that. Uh, that's why it's really important that you have a lot of sustain in your kit. Um, so I really do recommend either running like a Strikers uh, six-piece, so you get the self-sustain, either a defense or a Nomads. So otherwise, you're just going to get eaten alive by all these enemies. Uh, you see, I'm taking the top position uh, just because I have more range on my AR. I can more I can cover the room a little bit better than uh, Kyle can or Kilo can while he's down there with uh, the defense set. So I stay up top. Um, I focus on, you know, trying to help him out the best I can. You really want to focus on killing the med kits that these guys drop because it effectively just reduces your DPS. Every time you're firing your gun, good. Anytime you're not firing your gun, bad. Um, and that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and finish off this wave here. You can see we have about a minute 30 left. Uh, we needed just 2,000, so we're already at where we need to be between uh, my shade tech and Kyle Shaytek, he puts his in, um, and he tells me, hey, you know, we're good. Get your butt down here. Let's dump our points in, and I make my way over there. Um, so you can see we had about a minute left over, which is pretty good. It's come down to sometimes even 10 seconds for us to get uh, our farm off. Unfortunately, I didn't get any classifieds on either of these, but maybe Kilo has something that he can trade to me. Um, one thing to keep in mind too is you don't, if you're a nomads player, you don't want to suicide to the uh, the mobs. What that's going to end up doing is you're going to proc your nomads, and there's a chance that it could end up getting you killed later on. All right, well that's it. Uh, this video was a little bit longer than I had liked. We're clocking in at just about eight minutes, but uh, there you go. I hope you guys enjoy the farm.